This is Twit. Um, I want to talk about the Google Pixel 3. It's, uh, it sounds like it's going to be announced October 9th in New York City, so about a month after Apple's event. Uh, there are definitely things afoot. They are being approved by the FCC. A lot of stuff has leaked about them. And today <laughs> I read that somebody left one in the back of a car... And yeah. uh, so, and and the Uber driver was very nice enough to take pictures and post them on the internet before giving it back to the person <laughs> who came to Apple's claim it. I was gonna be feeling a lot better about that server photo leak. That was <laughs> and that that and plus uh, Pixel Three Pixel Pixel Three XLs boxed are being sold in the black market from yeah. someone in the Ukraine. So Great sign. yeah, that's okay. There's, and, there, there's no patch for human stupidity, as we like to say. This is the yeah. no this is the world we live stupidity. in. Try to keep things uh, try to keep things secret. In this day and age, and it's not okay, Ben. You talked about how you were doing some eye rolling at all the iPhone business. Here we are, Pixel Three. How do you feel? Are you excited? I'm interested. I think the thing that uh, annoyed me about the Pixel Two was that you basically, and, and Apple uh, fans will of course relate to this, is that you you couldn't actually, you know, they got rid of the headphone jack, and the uh, you you had to get these new uh, the wireless earbuds, and I think. Or a dongle, um, a dongle. You could just attach uh, a dongle yeah. if you could remember yeah, to bring it with but, you. Yeah, you know, sure. I'm not a dongle guy. I'm not interested <laughs> in dongles. Um, but no, but but I do think uh, I you know I'd like to see what they do with that because I am still an old fashioned regular wired earbuds guy. Um, I think the thing that most intrigued me about the Pixel Two was the live Google Translate function. I just as a huge fan of, you know, uh, uh, like all of the books that we think of when we think of live translation as a technology, um, I think that was the thing that most interested me about the Pixel 2. And I think, again, Google's software power. I was driving in the car yesterday with my brother and kind of like showing off to him uh, Google's assistant. And, and, he, and he said to me, he was like, wow. Uh, Google's pretty good. And I was like, yeah, obviously. And he was like, Siri sucks. <laughs> and again, I'm not going to come out too hard against Siri and against Apple. But I do think that like, go that at least with the Pixel 2, at least this live translate function and basically Google being able to show off its software power in its device was the most interesting thing to me. So I'm sort of intrigued to see um, what they release with the Pixel 3. And uh, as long as it's got a headphone jack, maybe they'll go back to the headphone jack, I'm hoping, um, then I will definitely buy into the Pixel 3. If you can find somebody who thinks Siri is awesome, by the way, let me know who that person is. I'd love to talk to them. Um, the the you know, So many Android phones have picked up on the notch design language slash compromise yeah. from Apple. And yeah. the pictures that I see of the Pixel 3, it's just got a little bezel at top and bottom and they're they're not going with the, Indentation is that is that right? Is that your understanding, Andy? Yeah, that's the that's the that's well, that's not understanding. That's the photo that we that can see. Literally, yes. The actual, I checked the, the back of the cab. Sold at all? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, and I, I, that's, and I don't. I don't feel as though that marks this phone as unclean and untouchable. No, I, I think it's kind of bold that they're like, yeah, we don't need to do a notch. We're not going to do that. It's just yeah, everybody I, else I, does it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I, I think that's. I, I think that edge to edge is really a design thing. It, it does let you put a larger display in the same size device, but it's not as though I'm suddenly going to be able to like read two page comic book spreads in Comicsology because I've got a notched screen, is it? So it's fine. I, I just I just think it's silly when people say, "Oh my God, look how big that notch is! Oh, the notch!" Oh, that's like I, I I need to be I need to hold a martini glass and put on a monocle so it's so that monocle could fall theatrically into the martini glass uh yeah i, I think and and for for me uh i am anticipating buying a pixel 3 uh because i do like the size i love my pixel 1 which i actually bought a year later Such as a good a, piece of as an overstock i just picked one up because i like to have a current android version reference yeah. hardware uh, and my old pixel uh, or my old nexus 5x doesn't run pi and the, these are really it's really nice hardware very nice it's hardware. a nice phone it's a nice phone it also has a great camera which again yeah like, i was gonna say if you if you if you take like at least me again like that's 80 percent of what i do with my phone is is take pictures um and i think you know just having an amazing camera is, is huge in the pixel one and i you know again like if if they if they come out with hardware that is as good as the pixel one and has a, a headphone jack i'm in 
<laughs> Bree, are you allowing any Android in your campaign at all, or that is a no go? <laughs> well, I mean, I have a pile of Android phones in you know my our, our game studio office. I mean, we worked on developing games for Android, and you know, obviously, running for Congress, there's not as much time to develop games as <laughs> I would like. But I don't have any like philosophical objection to Android. It's just, um, it's literally like this is not a situation where you want to be hacked, right? You're talking about some really important stuff. And, you know, it's, I, I really have always been confused that the Pixel is not the most popular Android phone. I mean, I like the Samsung phones that they put out. I think the Touch, uh, the Note 9 this year is particularly great. But I think if you're comparing like the flagship Samsung to the flagship Google, it's generally better. That said, I'm looking at this phone this year and I don't think it's really progressing as much as I think the iPhone 10 has. I'm a big believer in the fingerprint on the back of the phone. I think it's more convenient if yeah. you get used to it, even though I love Face ID. But like, I'd love to see, I just don't see Android, I don't see Google rather putting out Pixel that makes me go, oh, wow, I want to get that. That really looks sexy. That really looks like a cool design. That looks substantially thinner or different or better battery. I just, I don't see that this year. And that's that's disappointing because I don't want it to be just a, you know, a Samsung and Apple world where only two people are putting out good phones. Yeah, yeah no, I, I absolutely see that. I will, I, my, my excitement about the Pixel 3 is... Because because I love what Android is doing, excuse me, what Google is doing with Android, and I really want my I really want to have a phone that'll be able to that's that's designed with next year's Android, the Android after that in mind. Uh, the I, I think that uh, Android P this year is has got to be one of my favorite updates from last year's to this year's uh, OS on any platform whatsoever. And that's the thing that gets me really excited about uh, staying as an Android user. But you're right, the, 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 this, is, this is a, it's, I, I think that the, the, uh, the current generation hardware and what we think is going to be uh, next generation's hardware, it's very, very nice. And it's great for people like me who will, who are only going to be looking at the phone until I get that shipment from spec and I put it in that grippy case that I like all the time. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Like, why why does Google um, why does Google suck at selling hardware? Um, it seems like, or maybe they don't suck, but it just seems like people. I I also wonder why the Pixel is not way more popular than it is. Um, and I've always felt like the hardware that Google is putting out is basically like an experiment for them to learn new things to make their software better or something Ooh. like I, it just doesn't, I've never been convinced that Google is serious about hardware and maybe I'm completely wrong on that and happy to be told I'm wrong, but it just seems like the stuff that they've put out that I have bought um, is great, but they don't, I don't know. It just it, it I it, I I do wonder because some of the hardware is like amazing, but it just doesn't seem to gain the same traction as Apple hardware, and maybe it never will. But even it seems even behind Samsung and and uh, you know these other companies that 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 make like great phones and great devices as well. But I'm just sort of surprised, I guess, that Google's hardware is not more popular than it is. Mm. I mean, I've heard people say, I, and the chat room is saying it now, is that. Carriers is is a big part of that, yeah. right? It's a, yeah. They're not yeah. they don't have the it's, deals with the carriers. Yeah, they're, I think that I think it's that, and plus uh, it's plus simple marketing. Uh, when Samsung comes out with a new phone, I mean, my my metric for marketing is when my commuter train pulls into South Station because. Samsung will buy out the entire every every space on every platform and every advertising yep. screen inside yep. South Station, and you see them everywhere. And that's it's not a coincidence. That's that's the reason why Samsung is kind of the default phone, uh, the, the default hardware platform for Android, and because they are in every single carrier store. Uh, there are people. But that's who what's just, weird. Like, why don't they spend that money? Like, they have yeah. the money, so yeah. why yeah. don't yeah, they well, spend the money on it? The other question is, do they have the capability of manufacturing that many phones, which I don't know? Hmm. I no, I don't know. I think it's I think it's like Apple. I think they'd have to go get a foothold at the mall, just like Microsoft did. Um, it's kind of a it's a 
analogy here, but Microsoft has really started to excel at hardware. Um, I bought the Microsoft Surface Go, which I think is, it's an exceptional product. Like from a hardware perspective, I think the software itself has a lot of issues, but the hardware itself is excellent. Yeah. You know, Apple went to the mall for the first few years of the Microsoft store being there. It was a ghost town. And I don't know what yours are like, but when I've been to the one in Burlington or the one in uh, Natick, you know, it's a generally popular store these days. I think Apple's really, I mean, Microsoft rather, has put the time in and they've really built up a following. I think if you look at the Google Pixel book, I've looked at, like, I've wanted to buy one of the first gen ones for years and just like hack it to run Linux, which is a completely awesome computer if you can yep. do it. But they sold so few of them. It's still unbelievably expensive to find a really good one. So I think they can clearly do it as far as the number of phones. I think they have the partners out there, which they've used to produce it. I think it's just simply a, a matter of marketing and having like the in front, like consumer facing places to go sell it. 